Nicole here for Netbook News at the NVIDIA booth, and we're going to check out the Tegra platform. It's Glenn Schuster from NVIDIA, and I'm so excited to see what's going on because that presentation was unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. So um, we've brought the Tegra processor. It, it, it's a combination of processors. We have eight different cores in there. Uh, we have the ARM-based processor for running the operating system. Uh, here we're showing Windows CE. Um, for the netbook space. Uh, we have uh, 2D graphics, 3D graphics, uh, video encode, video decode, audio processor, um, all combined into a single chip uh, for, uh, for netbooks. And so we're driving um, Windows CE. Uh, we've been working with Mozilla on, on Firefox. Uh, we've been working with Adobe on flash acceleration. Um, so we run the, uh, the video, the uh, graphics in flash uh, offload the CPU and run it in hardware. So using our, our graphics engines um, for the flash acceleration. So you get a full uh, desktop browser experience um, on a, a low cost uh, ARM based device. Amazing, now what exactly, the offloading the CPU and the rest of this, what, what exactly is the end consumer going to see in their surfing experience? How much is it going to change from what they have right now with their netbooks to what you're hoping to bring forward? Well fundamentally what we're, we're driving much longer battery life, right? So we're bringing fundamentally a smartphone architecture, so, so things that, that you know, stand by measured in weeks, not hours. Um, the, the battery life measured in, in many hours, right? So on a, a traditional netbook battery, you're running about 10 hours of, of usability. Um, we're bringing HD video to the experience, right? So you have uh, streaming video, traditional, as well as file-based uh, HD video, so uh, up to 1080p. Speaking of exactly that, what kind of power consumption are we seeing on full HD playback? So the system runs about one watt. Um, the display runs about two watts, so about three watts total. Um, there are smaller devices with lower, smaller displays that run about one watt, so two watts total. Now, netbooks are all about being connected, so what kind of uh, power, power consumption are, are we going to be seeing when we start playing 3G? Uh, yeah, so the, the, the 3G modems are pretty power efficient. All the modems that we're dealing with are from the smartphone industry, right? So uh, we're partnered with Motorola, Ericsson, um, Sierra Wireless using Qualcomm's uh, products, um, Infineon. Uh, and so they're all traditional 3G or, or CDMA modems. Um, they, they run uh, uh, in the you know, one watt range for while you're actually using the data, so it averages much, much lower. Um, the, the standby power uh, is on the order of a, a milliwatt, so it's, it's much lower. Now, WiMAX netbooks are starting to pop up all over this show. Sure. Are you guys planning on that? Um, so we actually uh, announced with Motorola, uh, on, they have a WiMAX module that we can plug into any of the netbooks. So, absolutely. Excellent. So can you explain to us a little bit, and now, the average consumer isn't exactly familiar with Windows CE. Sure. Can you explain your relation to Tegra's platform relationship with, with Windows CE? Yeah, so fundamentally we've worked with Microsoft. Windows CE is their embedded version of, a, of their operating system. Um, it, it is different than desktop Windows. Um, and so we've brought the whole application stack together. So we, we have um, obviously Firefox browser. Uh, we have an IM client uh, called Instant Bird. Um, we have, uh, we've been working with SoftMaker on the Office productivity tools. Um, so we have the, the full suite of applications available. Now, this is some pretty exciting stuff and I want it on my netbook pretty much yesterday. So <laughs> when are we going to see it? Um, we expect them to ship in, in the fourth quarter, so September and October time frame. Excellent. Well, Glenn, thanks so much for taking the time to run through Tegra. You know, you should get, get back to work because I kind of <laughs> want to get it on my netbook now. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is Nicole from Netbook News.